Well, his extension. He's thank, thank you. Morning, Liz. Mr. Ashdown, how are yes. you, sir? Good. That's wonderful. Hey, uh, I actually had my brother call me this morning, James. Yeah. Who is Fred's chauffeur. Fred Jessup's chauffeur. Okay. And uh, I asked him how much he knew about Sher uh, Ruby. And uh, he says that Ruby made a phone call to you, which you told me. You there? Yeah. yeah. Which he told me that too. And I says, well, but we don't know that's Ruby. We do not know for a fact that was Ruby. He says, well, child, he says family services uh, actually has sat down to her physically and talked to her. Is that true? Not to my knowledge. Well, you've got to be kidding. So he lied to me. Uh, that's not in my head. No one's told me that. Well, would you find out? Because he's saying that you guys have actually had a conversation face-to-face -face with her. And he also told me she is in town. He says he has seen her more than once in the last two weeks. In town referring to... Uh, Hildo, Hildo, Colorado City area. And uh, so he says that she is in the area. Do you want James' cell number? Uh, now, now, James is your brother. James is my full brother. Okay. And, and he, he is, is also... over for Mr. Jessup. That's who right. has several... Who is the stepdad to Ruby? And 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 Mr. Mr. Jessup, Fred Jessup, might even be with James right now. Okay. I mean, he's his chauffeur. All right. Let's. What's his cell phone? James's cell phone. I talked to him about thirty minutes ago. His cell phone is, and you don't need to dial four three five four six seven two three nine two. Now, he told me that someone from Family Services has actually sat down and interviewed Ruby. Okay, well. I think if someone from Family Services did that because of all the stuff that has been talked about, I am absolutely positive, Gene, that you would know about it. Well, I probably would. <laughs> I think this is not going to happen. So why is he lying to me? Uh, I don't know. Well, obviously, it's an Kind of an outsider, I'd say he's lying to you to, to disarm you. Disarm me? What have I? I'm not even armed. I have nothing. He's doing that to, to you know, to, so you'll say, okay, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. It's cool. <laughs> he he, he else, knows me or better or than that. Yeah, he knows me better than that. He knows that I wouldn't just back down and say, well, great. He knows I'd verify it. Well, what I better do is. Now, does he know I might call him? No. Nope. Will he call? Would he talk to me? I don't know. I don't see why he would not. If I just said, but if, I, if you, I'm not even going to mention your name, I'm just. Gonna I don't care if you had a call and reported it. Well, he knows it would be me. Go ahead and mention my name. It's no big deal, Gene. In fact, I hoped you would do one thing. What's that? Please record your conversation for your protection. Please. If I've still got my recording stuff. These people will say, well, I didn't say that. I didn't say this. I didn't know that. Uh-uh. In fact, Les didn't even call me. Well, when you've got proof of something, then you have a, 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 then you have a foundation to stand on. And just please record it. <laughs> okay, I'll see if I can find my stuff. If I, I used to have a, a, a little uh, a recorder that would work just fine. No, well, you know, with the, used it for a long, with long the type time. of calls that you have coming into your office, you really should have a system set up to where when someone calls and talks to you, because if they're going to be talking to the head guy, it's got to be something pretty serious. And for your protection, Gene, you really ought to be able to back up what was said and what wasn't. For, for not just my oh, calls. No, actually, I, the, the, the amazing thing is I've... I, I bought my own personal recording devices. The state years, would buy this years for you. Ago, over a matter of the polygamous community, anyway. The state, trip. the state would buy this for you. All your agents should have it. If a young girl called and said this and that and the other, it would be so important to have it down solid. I, I know the state would do that for you. Well, they may not do it in the next ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to just hang up? Wait, that I can go through. I'll try calling him right.
right now. Hang on, okay? And I won't say a word. I'll just, I just want to hear it. But I can record it. Okay? Uh, what I'm going to do is just ask him if he's had information about... Uh, no, ask him whatever you want. I'll, I, will, I will not say nothing. When you hang up, then you and I will talk again. When he hangs up, you and I will talk again. You know, what we have to do... Yeah, let's see, there's no illegal legality in taping a conversation as long as one of the people is taping. That's right. Is aware of the taping. Which means I'm aware of it. I'm actually doing it. And you're aware of it, so two of us know. I don't know if the state... I'm not trying to be funny with you. I know you're I, not. I, I, uh, I, would, I would be just happy to call him. Well, and, but, and but... All he can say is, I didn't say that. But for your protection... Uh, that's, he can say whatever he wants. That's up to him. But when the conversation's done, I want to. Do you okay, don't even. You on a cell phone? No, right now, because I'm going to say, let me, let me see if I can find my stuff. Why don't here somewhere, and then I can. Why don't I just call him and you guys have your conversation, then you and I can talk? Because I want. I, well, I want to make sure I'm clear on that before I get sued. Oh, uh, I for, see. For, for collusion or something. We'll make a call to okay. whoever you need to include. Okay. If you have to call, call. Uh, Ron Barton in Salt Lake, if you have to. I mean, but... Okay, uh, Give and, me your number right now. And then I will call you back in five minutes. It's six eight eight seventy five hundred. but if you call me, I can't make the third extension. No, I'll, then you'd have to call me back. Right. Okay, just give me a minute. All right. All right. Bye. I, so it sounded like someone answered it, but it stopped ringing and everything, but no one was there. Well, I heard a, I heard a hello, but I didn't know that was you or anybody, so I, of course I didn't say anything. It wasn't going Yeah, I said hello after a couple seconds, and no one was there, so. It sounded like went into a hollow room or something. Huh. Well. All right, now let's, let's go back to this thing. Uh, I'm going to talk to Shirley. I know, I mean, I have not spoken. I, I went right to court this morning. Mm -hmm. on some other matters. Mm -hmm. I got back here and we had three people in the lobby. It's just been a real busy morning. Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? Maybe Shirley interviewed her this morning while I was talking. Mm -hmm. I doubt I that. I not believe it, but maybe she did. All right, now. James's conversation says that she let, she never left the area. And that we've already interviewed her. And that you've already interviewed her and that she's fine and that she has seen her two or three times in the last couple of weeks and that she's still in the area. That scares me, Gene. Well, I want to do a little checking on this, Les, and I'm not going to, to lunch uh, until I figure this one out. When okay. are you leaving? Well, I, I, I'm two hours. I'm three out, four hours late. I was supposed to be gone at 8 o'clock this morning and things start happening. Well, at this point, right now, I have no news or information that that child's been contacted by anyone. Other than zero. didn't didn't family services say that she, that she had or someone had called in and and said this was her and that, that she was fine and that she wasn't married and no I don't even know about that okay I don't even know about that okay I wouldn't go that far all right okay well uh, let me know would you I will thank you thank you Liz. bye bye Nash down yes it is how you doing Gene this less city oh less I just uh, read an old email of yours I just am getting around to some of my emails I'm sorry to say. Oh you did get one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I I kept saying I kept hearing that uh the well, services. I wasn't sure whether you could I, I really wasn't sure you could get them here or not, but that one did come. Good. Anyway, Gene, um you was gonna get back to me yesterday when you found out talked to your your uh, people and uh, to verify whether or not no, there has been no contact with the chief. There has been no contact whatsoever. No. For sure. Okay. All right. Well, so I, I don't know. Uh, and you haven't heard any new news. I mean, good grief. No. See, they told us that she would be back for sure within three weeks from, from Thursday the 31st, and that would be tomorrow. Okay. Now, who, when you say they, who said, who uttered those comments? Uh... The sergeant over to Washington County uh, Sheriff's Department. Sergeant. Uh, well, I mean, one of the sheriffs. Steve. Okay. Steve Stovall. Stovall. Yeah. He told he told Flora that that they would definitely be back 